everybody, it is Self Care Sunday! Where am I? How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, kitty! There we are. Adele and Dazzle, how are we? Good to have everybody here on Self-Care Sunday. Kitty was in first. What are we grateful for on Self-Care Sunday? Tell me about it, people. It is Sunday as we kick off another week. It's the beginning, people. How are we doing? Michelle, great to have you with us. Good to have you all here tonight. Whoa, where's my thing going? What's the good stuff that's happening in the world, people? Tell me about it. A day off from the store? That's great, kitty. That probably means you had to mow the yard and do a bunch of other stuff, but I'm glad you had a day off from the store. I'm very glad. That That is a nice thing. And something to be grateful for. Absolutely. Crazy day of especially home decor intake today. That That is... Uh, my home decor staff is uh, pulling their hair out uh, with all the great stuff that's coming in. But uh, you can't sell what you don't have as much as I try. Hey, Pat in the Peanut Gallery, great to have you here. Great to have you all here. Hey, I'm all with a change of scenery, Kitty. Don't get me wrong, I love a change of scenery. I am right there with you. That's a good thing. That is very good. I'm okay with that. I am, I am. What else is happening in everybody else's world? Things uh, still good in Florida, Pat? Ugh. I'm definitely more. Do, 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 do. My Facebook world is lighting up in a weird scenario. It's like taking comments away and then adding them back in. It's kind of weird. It's the joys of Facebook. I can't make it up. But I'm great to have you here. Grateful to have everybody here tonight. Going to try to make a good, uh, efficient self-care sun. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Hang on a second. Let me find some glasses. Hear me. All right, we've got glasses now. Yeah, Facebook has a life of its own. You got that right. Yeah, you know, at least today the video that I'm seeing is what I'm talking live, even though on my phone it's delayed. But uh, yesterday, when the camera shot I was looking at was all delayed, it was really weird. It's like when I'm uh, doing a TV interview and they only have, uh, they don't have me on. I can't see them or something. It's weird. I don't like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't, uh, I work with the Facebook we have, not the Facebook I wish we had. How's that? Well, let's get the party started here so we can keep everything moving efficiently. Oh, let's go with page eight tonight I open to. And the good morning, good night book is how we start this program every night. The good morning, good night book. Tonight I am on page eight. If you're following along, good morning. Lead with gratitude. 
the air in your lungs, the sky above you, proceed from there. There we go. Folks, it is Self-Care Sunday. It is Self-Care Sunday. Um, and we have made that a time in our world uh, where we bake or we cook or we do something. And today, this week, we had two exciting recipes this week. We had special K bars, which do sound good. A delicious no-bar cookie. The crunch of the cereal is complemented by rich and chewy caramel peanut butter and smooth and creamy chocolate. I mean, that does sound good. And recipe number two is the world's easiest fudge in under 10 minutes, which I got to say, not only was it easy, it was good. Okay, it was easy. I'm not sure about the 10. I, I may have taken a little more than 10 minutes, but I'm not the... Uh, aficionado around the kitchen. So I may have taken a little more than 10 minutes making it. Um, I did overly generously grease the pan, which it tells you to grease the pan well. And uh, I would argue that I over greased it, but it is good. Uh, so I definitely recommend the world's easiest fudge in under 10 minutes. Hey, Anne, Joanne, and Kelly, happy relaxing Sunday evening. Happy relaxing. So those were the self-care Sunday recipes of the week. We add them to the Resale Strong cookbook. The Resale Strong cookbook is what we've been cooking up every week since this all began. Our favorite recipes uh, of the uh, pandemic uh, as we've been working through this. Um, so uh, that is exciting. I'm glad to have that uh, with us. And I'm glad to have you here live tonight uh, on Self-Care Sunday um, all over the country. Uh, let's see what else do I got here for you tonight. I'm gonna, I got a narrow topic list tonight. I like this quote. The responsibility of leadership is to create more leaders. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, and da, 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 do I have another one here? I like this quote too. Take the risk or lose. So the other th thing, I, the real thing I wanted to talk about tonight is what a lot of you have been talking about all day. Melissa, our friend M Melissa Morales, back by popular demand, did that amazing demo for us today. Truly amazing uh, that she took time out of her day and Gary was there answering all the questions about uh, loyal shops and uh, the uh, features and how it all works and integrates with the different software platforms and Shopify to make it really simple for online selling. And when you put some of the technical aside, you know, which I know can get overwhelming, go right over some of our heads with the technical of it. And um, it, it's really cool what uh, Gary and his company have put together there. It's really a nice feature. It's really nice how the software companies have pivoted to work with him um, and make that available and make these um, links available so that they could... Uh, uh, provide this to all their customers, their joint customers. So this is really, really amazing stuff. And But what it teaches us more, because it doesn't matter if you do live sales or not. I mean, it matters if you're going to use this product. But um, And it's a great product for that. It really streamlines the process um, and reduces your labor costs and increases efficiency. But that's the underlying lesson here. The underlying lesson is what pivots can you make in your business? What technology can you add? Okay. You know, I've talked before about our, our upside down tripod hanging camera from the ceiling. Okay. It, it really, what pivots can you make to make yourself more efficient? Okay. What pivots can you make? Okay, to diversify your income stream. What pivots can you make, okay, 
to meet your customers where they are, okay? You know, uh, absolutely, Adele. They have worked so hard to make things easier for our members. Our, our affiliate members, I mean, truly are the best. I mean, I, I have worked and consulted in so many different industries, so many different industries. And what our affiliate members have stepped up to do during this and beyond um, has been truly amazing. Really, um, it would have been easy for them to just curl up in a ball just like all of us. But they've adapted, they've pivoted, and they've met the challenge head on of helping us reach our customers in new and better ways. So, what? but you have to think, I know some of you aren't live salespeople. Okay, and some of your products don't do well for live sales. Aren't the type that are that are that contribute to uh, a live selling event? You know, a couch doesn't sell the same live as an as a uh, polo, a black polo shirt. Pretty easy. Um, so these pivots, okay, and these changes, okay, this isn't for everybody. Okay, but what ways can you pivot to meet your customers? You know, one of the things Melissa talked about today was all the different channels, and, and it got lost, okay? I know it got lost in the conversation because it was just sort of an afterthought because everything was about this live selling platform. But if you replay what Melissa said, part of what she covered was all the different platforms she's selling on now. She's selling live. She's selling in store. Okay, that would be IRL, in real life. In real life, people! Okay? She's selling on her web website. She's selling on eBay. Okay? She's doing all these things to meet customers wherever they are. Yes, there's costs to that, but if you can have your one item, this one shirt, in many places. This one couch in many places, okay? It's about eyeballs, people. And yes, there's a cost to that. So some of that cost needs to be built into the price, okay? Um, you know, the, the old, you know, it's not interest-free financing, okay? And it's not free delivery, okay? It's already worked into the price. Um, so you need to, to take into account some of these costs as that, but you also have to take into the account that some of this diversification puts you, it, it quite honestly, like opening another location but at a lower cost. Okay, so instead of having five stores, you're on five different platforms and you're using technology to get your items there. And it can be very, very effective. So looking at ways to Diversify, pivot, okay? Pivot to reach your customers where they are is the real lesson of what Melissa taught us today. Yes, she taught us very good, and Gary was there. I love, I love how Gary has stepped up for this industry, okay? A and they talked about that specific product. But the underlying lesson, there's always an underlying lesson, and the underlying lesson is how do you pivot, how do you diversify? because it's diversification. And you know, one of the other things Melissa talked about, even if you're somebody that gets scared about going live, is having multiple people that work for you that are your live people. Your people that go live. It doesn't have to be you, okay? It doesn't have to be you for anything. You don't have to be your booker. Book, no, you don't have to be your bookie. Um, but you don't have to be your bookkeeper, okay? But you need a bookkeeper. Um, you don't have to be your shipper, but you may need somebody that can ship, okay? It doesn't all have to be you, okay? But it's about this incremental revenue. It's about adding these little bits and pieces to the bottom line so that you can grow your business, grow, thrive, and r survive, okay? Uh, well, I guess it's the... Uh, um, Survive, grow, and thrive, because it's probably the uh, um, better way of saying it. I need to work on an acronym. I'll work. I'll, I'll get my peanut gallery to to work on an acronym for that. Okay.
but you're talking about surviving, growing, and thriving, okay? And um, it, it is those types of things, these little changes, okay? Loyal Shops and how Melissa started with it was a little change, but had a dramatic result, okay? And you can't go by Melissa's sales. You have to look at your sales and what you can add to yours. And if you could add $200 today to your sales, would that be a good thing? If you could add $50, would that be a good thing? And by doing any of these channels or any of these other things, you can adapt your business, okay? Whether you add $50 or $5,000, every dollar in the register is a good thing. Sheila's with us tonight. Melissa's with us. I'm talking about you and you're here. But that's what Melissa taught us today. And Melissa taught us to adapt. That was her underlying lesson. Use this product is one way you and your business can adapt. Okay, but there's so many other things you can do, okay, to adapt and pivot, okay, just make little changes. This isn't about worldwide change in your business. None of these things are about world change, okay? You don't have to flush your business out uh, and turn it completely upside down. But you do have to push yourself. You have to push yourself a little bit beyond your comfort zone. And you keep on pushing yourself. It's about pushing. Okay? Pushing yourself just a tiny bit, okay, to get beyond. You know, you give yourself that push, and you can achieve amazing results. Amazing results, okay? It doesn't take that much. The other thing that takes beyond that is consistency, okay? This, none of this stuff is stuff you can do once and say, oh, I got no sales from it. It didn't work. I, I hear that from you people all the time, okay? I tried that. It didn't work, okay? That sounds like your 7-year-old or your 14-year-old. I tried that, Mom. It didn't work. I tried that, Mom. Okay, well, you didn't try. Huh? Yeah, my peanut gallery knows they're being called out right now. Um, but it is, uh, but that's not the way this works. Repetition, people. Repetition. Do I have to get out my Dr. Seuss books again? It's repetition. Okay. It, it, it is about how we try, repeat, reinvent, and, re and repeat. Okay. It, it is, it takes time to build an audience on whatever pivot you're doing. Okay, so understand that and work with that as we move forward. Because that is the underlying lesson. If you take nothing else away from what Melissa taught you, okay, take a couple things away. If you do live videos, it's easy and will make your life easier. If you don't do them and you have a product line that, that does do live videos, uh... Yes, consistency. It's what I preach all the time. Exactly, Melissa, you know. But no, I mean, it's so important what the lessons you taught today, you know. I mean, every show I watch, I look at what lessons can I take from that. And, and as I watched uh, at parts of your, your demo today, that is, that is one of the key things that you take away. You talk about consistency. You talk about the platform. You talk about using team members. You talk about... Uh, adapting and pivoting, okay? Not everybody's product line does well with that, okay? It does well with a live video, but there's ways to do it. You also talked about multi-platform. So there's so many different ways we can adapt and move and pivot in this. We just need to get off your butt, okay? So it does, re it does require some forward motion. It requires you out of the chair moving. Okay, so that it does require. So we need to do that, and that is, uh, that is one of the first things you do, is you got to get up and get moving, people. Um, and uh, if you do that, it gets pretty easy after that. It does get easier. I promise you it gets easier. So that is the lesson of the day and that is the lesson i want so my challenge to you this week is what are you going to try that's new it's a new week it's a new week people a new week and uh, last i checked 
It's a great week to have a great week. It's a good week to have a good week. So, what are you going to do th different this week and consistently different this week to get a different result? Okay, that is what this week is about. It is Labor Day week. It is the week where we change. It is the week where I challenge you to change and try one new thing. One new thing. Push yourself out of your comfort zone just a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to see you get just a tiny bit uncomfortable. Okay? Just a little bit uncomfortable. Okay? And get out and do something just a tiny bit different this week. Make some minor change because minor changes multiplied out have a big result. Okay, it's not ma about making big change. It's minor changes, little changes, big result. That's what this is all about. That's what it's always about. Okay, what little changes can we make to have a big result? Exactly, Joanne. And you know why that's smart, okay, to promote your website through Facebook Live is because the website you own, okay, the website you own, uh, Joanne, and you don't own Facebook, you don't own Instagram, you don't own any of the others, but you own your website. So if you draw your traffic back to that, it uh, really can enhance your sales. So I am uh, excited for you on that, and I'm excited uh, to see uh, your new site go live. I don't think it's gone live yet, but I, um, I am excited about that. And that's a big change for you, okay? The, you know, and the key is just keeping it filled with new items. Keeping that up um, and keeping that active. So uh, that is what to you is for this week so th give that some thought give it some planning on what you're going to do so take self the rest of self-care Sunday even take a little bit of Labor Day and think about what changes what pivot you're gonna make this week to make it your week okay make it a great week what that is how we're gonna leverage self-care Sunday that is how we're gonna do it you know, this video, all the things I talk about here, all the uh, resources are available at narts.org slash resalestrong. Narts.org slash resalestrong is where you find all the video information I've talked about. Everything is there, nice, neat, and easily organized um, for you. But it's also there so you can share it with whoever, everybody you know, anybody in business, butcher, baker, candlestick maker, ice cream shop owner, Jiffy Lube, anybody that needs the help, we're here to help them and we're going to get them all to the other side of this, all of them. It's all there, it's all free, but you get me live here every night at more 8 than ish, more 8 than ish Eastern, every night in the Narts private Facebook group. If you have a question in between, you just email me, neil, N-E-I-L, at ecistores.com, N-E-I-L, at ecistores.com. Uh, we start this program every night. We start the program every night with the Good Morning, Good Night book. Tonight, we started on page 8. With good morning, lead with gratitude. We do in this show every night. First thing we talk about, the air in the lung, in your lungs, the sky above you, proceed from there. Our good night tonight is good night. Curl up with gratitude. For the ground beneath you, your beating heart, proceed from there. There's your graphics, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Neil Abramson. I do like a good party, a wedding, a bar mitzvah even. We will party again together. I will be there with you. You can count on it. You can, you can. Until tomorrow night at more 8 than ish. More 8 than ish tomorrow night. Monday night, Labor Day even. Okay? Know that you... And you, but most especially you, yes, you, even you, Joanne, with that soon-to-be new website, you are not alone running this store. 
it's time for self-care Sunday dessert. Easy fudge, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow night. Have a great night.